Hi, good morning. Welcome back to another Coaster Crazy vlog here on YouTube. Yeah, as you can see, we're driving onto a ferry. Where are we going? We're going to the Isle of Wight for the day. Because <laughs> why not? So, uh, yeah, happy coronation weekend and all that. I don't know where we're going. We're going in there, Yeah, we're going here. Yeah, so Tilly's behind us in the back. Dogs are allowed. So uh, yeah, a very dog friendly place is the Isle of Wight. So we're going to Robin Hill today. So there won't be a lot of this travel vlog because people want to watch Robin Hill. So yeah, I think we just get out and I, I, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> we've, we've only done this once before when we came with Martin and Charlotte. So Tilly's there, she's on a little booster seat. I know I've had comments about the thing in the back, but it's basically a booster seat. So she could see out the windows a seat belt. and a, yeah she's, she's got a harness and a seat belt on and everything so uh yeah i'll see you when we get out we'll be last out <laughs> yeah we will actually uh last out one day one day we'll get on that hovercraft from south sea yeah i just went and got myself a hazelnut latte from uh, costa coffee they've got here I just prefer Starbucks. We did drive past a couple on the way here, but we just didn't have time. Um, yeah, while I was queuing up for me uh, Costa Coffee, we went past Clarence Pier. Obviously, we stood in the queue for me coffee. So, um, yeah, regarding dogs, so they're allowed on this back deck here, and in that room just where we are, I think I've got a horizon lock on. The boat's moving, it's making the footage go all weird. Um, so yeah, dogs are allowed on this bit. Um, there was no charge for dogs at all to come to the Isle of Wight. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, hopefully the weather picks up, to be honest. Cause it, it, it was showing that it was supposed to be really nice today. Um, yesterday was awful, if you, if you know, you know. Yeah, the coronation in London, like it just rained pretty much all day. Where we live, it rained all day. But if you lived up north, it was all right. So uh, as the old saying goes, it's grim up north. It's completely an utter rubbish because <laughs> it's grim down south. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, I love these boats and stuff. Yeah, so the car's just, just down here, really. The, car, the car's just down underneath there. Till Tilly's all right. Are we on the water? Yeah? No? I don't know. I don't th I'm, not sure she's sh I'm not sure she's sure or not. But uh, yeah, well, uh, I'll see you when we get there. There's not really much to film here. I'll probably drop a Tilly off with Lisa and I'll probably walk around the front. Aww. <laughs> yeah, really good crossing. Oh, I can hear all the alarms going off. Yeah, when you come onto a ferry with your car, make sure you turn your alarm off. Because you'll you'll get it going all day right let's have a walk around the ship um yeah on deck five now i don't know if it goes up any more there's a panoramic viewing room in here i mean like the whole ship goes around um yeah it's really nice actually it's, it's not that big it's not as big as the ones that cross the um the channel to calais it's quite small, it's more like a river cruise than anything. I mean, when, you, we, when we actually set off, the woman behind me, the, queuing up for the coffee shop, she didn't even realise we'd actually set off, which was quite funny. Yeah, it's really nice. I mean, there's loads of space up here and it's not even that busy. Like, only half of the side of the, the ferry is full of cars. So I think this is as high as you can go. Oh, there's another coffee shop over here. But you've got, like, this uh, wraparound lounge here panoramic viewing lounge it's right really nice not like not like you can see anything you can't even see the isle of wight from here it's about a 40 minute crossing hopefully it's nicer later on i'll get a bit more footage on the on the way back but yeah i hope you've uh, enjoyed the the last few vlogs from the euro mini trip um as of yet the what vlog is it um Wallaby Belgium, or as I did say in the vlog, Holly, Wallaby Holland, I ended up cutting that bit out, I don't know why I said that. Yeah, there's another Costa coffee up here as well. 
yeah. Ventures, adventures. But yeah, there's loads of stuff on the Isle of Wight. When we came last time, there's some postcards here. You got like the needles, which we visited last time we came. We did Black Gang Chine, which was all right. Mm, wasn't wasn't nothing anything special. But there's probably no point going back to the uh, Black Gang Chine because the roller coasters they had is now at Dreamland in Margate. Um, they do have a new ride there, but it's just like an inverted swinging ride. I'm not bothered about those. Well, yeah, it's a really nice ferry. I don't think you can get out the front. I think this is the top top deck anyway. Yeah, the stairs all lead back down again. But it's really nice. Uh, clean, it's tidy. Doesn't smell. Yeah, I think this is the... Sort of like the de last bit of deck you can go on. I don't think you can walk around the, sh the ferry. Oh, it's already open. <laughs> I thought, I thought it was closed. That was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, there's... Oh, you can go up. Oh, you can go up here. Well, I hope you can. Didn't know you... Didn't know you could go up here. Right next, right next to the top of the engine. Yeah, you can't go any further than there. Yeah, I'll probably see you when we get there, really. There's not much else to show you, to be honest. Yeah, you can't really go any further. It's not really the nice day for it, though, but, yeah. I'll see you when we get there. Oh, yeah, we're on White Link, by the way. If you want to check out all the details on how to book the ferry, I will put a link in the video description. Just check out that. I'll put a link to their website. It wasn't too bad, I suppose. Dead easy website. Uh, it was pretty easy to book it and all that and come and bring your dog yeah there's plenty of stuff to do on the isle of wight can't wait to get there yeah weather's not great at the minute <laughs> hope it gets better all right so here we go getting off the ship i keep saying ship it's not a ship is it it's a ferry but yeah we're literally the last people off see you later thank you and yeah so to robin hill it's 12 minutes from where we are that was really good. Um, oh yeah, there is a bottom section here. So we was on the, like, the top. And Tilly was very well behaved. She loved it. I don't think she loved it, but she was, she was well behaved. <laughs> right, here we go. We're on the we Isle of Wight. We was the last off, yeah. Oh no, there's some cars at the bottom here. They're waiting to get on. Yeah, but the whole process was so easy. We literally, when we got to the terminal, um, in Portsmouth, we just drove up and said, just said what our name was, and right. that was it. Just and confirmed. Yeah, just confirm. Yeah, confirm your name. Oh, there's other cars coming off. So, uh, yeah, there's so much to do here on the Isle of Wight, and we would like to come more. Um, I mean, it took, oh, took us about an hour and a half, an hour and forty minutes probably to to probably. get probably probably um, to get to the. The terminal ferry terminal so it wasn't too far really and then like 40 minutes on the ferry so yeah just waiting for the uh, traffic to disperse to wherever they're going for the day right we're here uh, robin hill right standard admission price um and you get seven days free as well so if you pay your standard ticket you can come back um for free within seven days that's pretty cool so yeah 25 pound um, but it is actually a off-peak season at the moment, so I booked online. It was £19.50 each, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, yeah, I didn't get gifted or anything for this place. I, th I didn't think it's not that expensive, and for what they've got, they do have toboggan coaster here as well, and there's like some small flat rides, and it's basically a nice walk we've never been before. So yeah, got the uh, tickets and stuff online. Let's go in Robin Hill. Right, so we're in. Yeah, dead simple again, like most things are these days. You know, there's a lot of people that comment on my videos going, oh, I'd love to go to a certain park, or I'd like to go here, or, you know, I'm scared to travel on my own, and things like that. You know, I get them all the time, but don't worry, everything's just so easy. Like, even 
buying the tickets for this, I just used Apple Pay. I went and put on, you had to put two different names of the tickets and then just used Apple Pay. It was, it was dead easy. And then when you get here, you can, um, um, what do you call it? Oh, just, just scan a QR code. But yeah, dogs are allowed in here as well, which is really cool. You've got like this tractor ride, uh, which will go on. That doesn't open till 11. Uh, it's like another 30 minutes or so. So if we walk around here, they've got some rides here. They've got a pirate ship and a little tracked ride and there's a maze down here. Oh, Tilly's weeing. <laughs> yeah, if you get stuck in the maze, get someone to come up here, you can uh, tell which way to go. So yeah, there's all sorts of quirky things but yeah it is owned by the same company that also owns black gang chine so you can get like a do uh, a, sorry a two-day park ticket so you can do both parks in the same day but saying that when we was at black gang chine it is it's pretty much a full day there it's quite a big place to be honest we did spend a full day and i don't think we actually saw the whole thing but yeah just a few rides in here they don't have an actual coaster though, which is something they could probably do. What they need to do is, is go on to Clarence Pier because they're selling their spinning coaster. Yeah, look at this. Cow Lamity Jane. <laughs> I think there's a few. Look at this over where the Cow Express is. Yeah, I've only ever seen one vlog from this place and it was about five years ago. Ah. <laughs> We've got JCB diggers, yeah, this train looks all right. Yeah, so you've got all these different cows. Yeah, I think they've only got like the two rides here. There's this, um, and the pirate ship, which is called Colossus. Yeah, this like little train. <laughs> I don't think we'll bother with this one. Very fitting for the day. So yeah, again, congratulations and you know, to the to the king. What a, what a spectacle that was. I mean, I'm not much of a royalist, but I do love my country and the Union Jack. I've got how many have I got? I've got two Union Jack tattoos on my leg, so I I do like the Union Jack. And watching that on TV yesterday was amazing. Like it was just. It's a thousand, ye a thousand years that tradition's been going on for. A thousand years. So you watch and you go, oh my God, it looks old. and But it is a, th a thousand years that tradition's been going on with the coronation and stuff. Yeah, so you got this train. Um, basically, it just goes in a loop and then it sort of crosses over itself a couple of times. You can pretty much see the whole ride here. So I don't see the point going on that, really. Yeah. That sounded like my horn on my crane. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Obi, oh, what's that? Obi Wan, Cow Nobi, and half, half Ve Carfader. <laughs> I don't know, should I? You can sit here, I suppose. Might as well. It's just there. Excuse me, Tilly. Excuse me. I need to get past. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, probably dogs are allowed on here. I don't know. Yeah, I should have a good day today. Look at this one there, the mystery, mystery machine. So it's meant to be Scooby Doo. <laughs> Scooby Moo and the mystery. I can't speak. Moostrystery machine. Something like that. Are even dogs even allowed on here? I don't know. It doesn't say. Enjoy the, enjoy the ride. Please wait to be seated. Oh, I think I have to wait. Oh, I can get on it, can yeah. I? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Might as well, uh, I mean, I'm hardly sat on this chair here. Look how small it is. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just get the one lap on it, I think. I don't know. It's quite cute though. I like the uh, landscaping on it. 
Yeah. <laughs> Calf Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi. I like that. Being a big Star Wars fan and all. Lieutenant Cow. <laughs> Got a beard on it. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Newcastle Moo United. <laughs> shameful, is it a shameful cred? I don't know. <laughs> but like I said, there's only got a couple of rides here. So you've got this train, the pirate ship and the toboggan coaster thing. But I like this uh, section here. It's really weird. <laughs> And it just goes round and back into the station. I think it only goes round once. Yeah, fun little train for the kids. Yeah, next up is Colossus, which is this pirate ship. Yeah, it looks all right. Uh, it's got a bit of theme into it. Looks like it goes quite high up. Ah, she could do with a proper coaster here. Like I said, there's a spinning co- Where's, is that the entrance? Where's the entrance? I oh, so there's no entry. Is it? It's over here? No, it's not. Where's it? Oh, it's here. <laughs> it's over here. It's quite confusing, that. Because he doesn't actually say where the entrance is. Oh, I could have just walked under the, uh, just could have walked under the fence like they're doing over there. Queue jumping. <laughs> but yeah, they could do with a coaster here. Like I said, Clarence Pier is actually selling their um, tidal wave coaster. So, but yeah, if you've got a spare £350,000, you can have it. Some, somewhere like here would benefit with something like that. So the trick with these pirate ships is don't look sideways because it'll make you feel sick. Uh, or I'll look sideways. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Woo. It's actually a really good one to be honest. It's nice and smooth. It must be a hoss. It's got to be a hoss this one. Woo. It's nice. I find it quite funny as well when they actually start it up. It sounds like my crane. <laughs> it's really weird. Yeah, fan of the channel. <laughs> there you are. That's the sound my cra crane makes when I start it up every morning. Yeah, nice to see the uh, fans of the channel working here. Yeah, she said it was awful. They had to send them home early because of the weather yesterday. Said there was no one in the park at all. Yeah, actually a really nice pirate ship. But like I said, a little coaster. I mean, a caterpillar would be brilliant here. So, like a little caterpillar or an SPS spinning coaster. Something like that would be brilliant, especially when, like I said, Black Gang China sold their coaster. There is, oh, there is a coaster actually, yeah, in Shank, Shanklin, I think it is. Yeah, there's a little, little coaster here in Shanklin, which we might go to anyway before we, before we go home. So we'll do this park, and it'll probably only take us a few hours to do this. And then, yeah, it's a mad tree, that isn't it? Well, lights all over it. So they do a lot of festivals and stuff here as well, like balloon fest fe festival, uh, light trails, and yeah, so we might come back at some point, see what it's like. Well, yeah, so far, very nice. Robin Hill. <laughs> oh. 
Send it, Tilly. I mean, this is for Tilly's first ride. <laughs> yeah, it's only a tractor, but yeah, the dogs are allowed on here. Yeah, so we're look, yeah we're looking for. They told us to look out for red squirrels. It's a brand new tractor. I mean, this whole train system's really nice. It's got audio on it and everything. It's quite bumpy, but it's all right. Aren't you, Tilly? Yeah, don't come in here if you need the toilet. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, car park's just here, free car park as well, so, so so what you get, or for what you get, including the price, I don't think it's too bad. However, the uh, toboggan coaster is a, what did she say, £1.50, yeah, one, £1.50 upcharge for the for the toboggan, which I don't find that's bad at all, really, I mean, yeah, it, it, it should be included in the price, but who's got to argue with £1.50? Isn't it Tilly? Oh, red oh red, red no, it's at the bottom of the hill. Oh, this beautiful park, really, really nice. I mean, not every park like this has to have rides and coasters. It's just really nice to have it here. So the actual tractor ride did stop in just this section here. You can get off the toboggans literally just over there. And we thought well, it was a bit short. And so I just asked the driver, said, yeah, we, it does go on a bit further. It turns around and then it stops back here again. So we'll do a bit of a loop and then stop here. It's, it's, it's absolutely stunning here. And we missed the red squirrel as well. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently it ran in front of the tractor, but we didn't see it because we were looking in a different direction. Yeah, it's really nice here, really, really pretty. I don't know what that stage is for back there. So it they said there's an animal kingdom thing here as well, um, where the tractor actually used to go around. Um, apparently they stopped doing that for health and safety reasons. There's actually a football pitch here as well. But yeah, the toboggan and the slides are over there. Oh, there's a few slides, actually, yeah. Oh, really? Look at this, here. Yeah. Beautiful, look at that. Japanese garden. Got these uh, rope bridges that go across. Oh, it's absolutely stunning here. Back to train sharing this path. All oh, right, yeah. Oh, it's really nice. There's a salt course over there. Them slides look really good. Yeah, it's beautiful round here. Really, really pretty. All right, yeah, I see it now. It does a loop round this section here and goes back the way we came. Oh, that was really good, that. There's also an animal kingdom over there. No animals. And then there's the bird show. Don't forget the birds. Yes, birds, yeah. yeah. You just can't go near the cages. No. No, not, not with the dog. But you can watch the you can watch the show. It's the other side of the woods, right? All right, cool. All right. Thank you. Cheers. See you later. Hello. Yeah, nice ride, that. <laughs> yeah, to the uh, what was it called? The big red. Just the big red. Just the big red uh, tractor ride. It's actually really nice. Was that? I mean, the actual ground of this park is absolutely stunning. But yeah, it is a country park. Um, much like that jar. Uh, what was it called? Um, uh, Park D. O'Hain or whatever it was called where the luge coaster was very similar to that sort of thing uh, where there's like a couple of attractions you know somewhere to have a coffee and take your dog for a walk and yeah but look at the size of this ground it's massive so there's a couple of uh, goals there for if you want to play football you can bring we have done she's made a, a hell of a picnic <laughs> um, so we'll go back to the car in a bit uh, grab the picnic and have something to eat there's all this space there, it's massive. So yeah, I'll probably just have the one go on the toboggan. I'm not the biggest fan of these. I prefer the vegan um, Alpine coasters, uh, to be honest. But you've got the Oasis 
Yeah, I'm scared of falling backwards. Uh, so you got the Oasis Cafe here. So you got your refreshments and stuff. Oh my god, what's that thing there? Ah. Oh, it's one of them bounce. Oh my god, it's weird. It's just looks like a ripple, like um, water, isn't it? Bed. Yeah, it's like a water bed. <laughs> my god, look at those slides. How steep they are, I mean. Look at this, yeah. So there's the toboggan one just there. Yeah, look at this thing. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, the ripple, yeah. Oh, that's weird. It's like a giant waterbed. It's like a um, it's like a big puddle. That's mad. I've never seen anything like that. I think it is. It's filled with water. Yeah, it is, isn't it? The ripple. You can hear it all sloshing inside. Eh? There's no dogs allowed. That's really cool. I've never I've never seen anything like that before. Oh dear. You gotta take your shoes and your glasses off. I'm gonna go on it. I'm gonna do it. Just leave me bag of my shoes here. I'll put your shoes in there. Would you say no glasses? Yeah. No sharp objects. No sharp objects. Eh? Uh, no, I'll, I'll fall over. I'll get it on camera then. I'll just take my shoes off and I'll probably end up falling over. Oh God. This looks weird. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't want to fall over. Oh my God. <laughs> it's really cool. Oh, it's really weird though looking at it because I've taken my, gla my glasses off now. But yeah, I think it's just, yeah, it's full of water. <laughs> It's cool. Get him, get him, get him, get him. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh, that's so unique. I've never done anything like that before. Yeah, I'll put my shoes back on now and uh, go on the uh, toboggan, I think. Yeah, how unique is that? Oh, if you're going to sleep on the Enjoy. Thank you. Right, so here we go. So the thing with these, um, well, it is actually a vegan as well. Uh, the thing is with these, you'd literally sit on this little tea tray. There's nothing behind my back. So I actually think these are quite uncomfortable. But while it's on the lift hill like this, you can just hold the, the brake like I'm doing. So yeah, phones in my pocket zipped up. Look out, this is really steep though. So yeah, I've got you on the chest harness again. These are really cool. I was just saying to the guys in there, I don't think I've got many more. Oh my God, this is steep. Oh, I'm trying to stop falling backwards. Yeah, I think I've only got one of these left to do in the UK. Um, I can't remember where it's at now. Is it near, oh, it's near Plymouth. Is it near Plymouth? Pretty sure there's one near Plymouth I haven't done. Uh, another ski centre. But other than that, I've pretty much done every one of these in the UK, even the ones that are not here anymore. Did the one that was at um, Hornsey Pottery in Lancaster. Anyone that's from up north. Just get you the nice angles. Yeah, I'm loving it here. It's a really nice place. The sun is meant to come out. But it's, as you can see, it's still pretty cloudy. Push the lever all the way forwards. Oh, God, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Sliding all over the place. Oh, oh my God. Oh, it's quite fast, it's all over the place. I'm breaking quite a bit. I don't want to fall off the thing. Oh. Hey, for 
two go, so might as well just stay on and go again. That was awesome, that. Ooh. Yeah. Walk on rides. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you again. Oh, it's steep. My God. Yeah, it's not bad actually. Um, it's it's very slippy though. He did the guys did say yeah, it's quite slippy. Um, yeah, I really want to go full belt on it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'll attach you back on again, and I'll get you another POV if I can before I get to the top. Oh, they're quite uncomfortable though. Here we go again. They must have some sort of machine that cleans it all and dries it. smooth as well actually It's probably one of the best I've done in the UK. Thank like a pro. <laughs> yeah, so the toboggan run there just behind me was actually really nice. You saw I did I, I did two laps on it. One pound fifty a go, so three pound for two rides. I don't think it's bad at all to be honest. To say I've I've, I've paid four four pound for one ride, even even more uh, on some toboggans before. I just really like it here actually, um, I think we need to do more country parks, not like there's that many more that we haven't done really. Um, so yeah, what we're doing now is we're going to walk down towards the Japanese garden, which is just, just here. Um, sort of walk towards the back of the park and then sort of make our way back up to the entrance. Um, and then we've got to grab our picnic if it doesn't start raining because it actually just feel like it's got to rain, even though it's forecast to be really nice and sunny today. Obviously not. <laughs> Here comes the tractor, so I have to quit before the tractor runs us over. But yeah, it's a really nice place here. Really, really nice. It's uh, well kept, and I'm guessing it gets really popular in the summer. Yeah, I can see this being like rammed in the summer, and especially when they've got events on as well. And the, uh, what do you call it? The uh, tractor's really busy now. <laughs> Oh, it's uh, oh, it's just a viewing platform. Oh, this would have been lovely, wouldn't it? Oh, this look at this. It's beautiful. Uh, so we have to walk. Oh, there's another platform here. We're gonna have to walk over there. There's a bridge that goes through it. <laughs> Let's see how Tilly goes on with these. <laughs> Tilly, come on. Good girl. That's it. That's it. Come on. That's it. There's an oath from Tilly. <laughs> we'll have to walk through it instead. Uh, no, I wanted to walk through the middle bit actually. I actually remembered this bit, yeah. She's petrified of bridges. She's not, well, she's not, but that moves. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She, she, <laughs> she just stops still. And it's covered in um, poo from uh, the geese as well. But yeah, the landscaping's lovely around here. Yeah, there's just like this really weird section here where you can actually walk through the water. Is it wet? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's like a, it's like an infinity pool. Oh, she's backing up. She's backing up. Go on, Tilly. Go on. Um, <laughs> no, come on. Come. <laughs> oh God, is it meant to be coming through? Oh, 
They're meant to be coming over the top. Yeah. Wow, look at this. It's pretty cool. Oh, this is brilliant, this. Ooh, ooh. And it echoes as well. Oh, lovely. Really, really nice. Just a bit wet. I don't know if there's any fish in there, to be honest. Can't see any. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff here, like I don't know what's down here. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful here, it really is. There's even speakers around. You probably won't pick it up, but it's playing some really ambient music, it's really nice. Oh, these flowers. It's stunning here, like this Japanese gardens continues all the way down here. There's like a, a couple of bridges and ponds and stuff and there's like a, what do you call them, down here. Um, it's like a Chinese temple thing. I don't forget what you call them now. Yeah, to be honest, I don't think we'll be here that much longer. We're pretty much at the back of the park and then it sort of goes around and then we've got the falconry show. And um, that ripple is brand new for this year, this season. So, uh, yeah, something new to come back for if you've not been before, or if you have been and you haven't been for a while. It's absolutely stunning here. Really, really pretty. Surprised we haven't got on. Well, I don't know if we have. Comment down below, have we got anything like this on mainland, uh, mainland England? Because I don't know of anywhere like this. Look at this, uh, what do you call these? Te it's like a Chinese temple, isn't it? I forgot what you call them now. They've got the, like a name for them. I forgot what you call them now, but it's really pretty how it's got the waterfall on either side. Like a nice picture. It's like it's raining. Ah, oh, it's brilliant. It's what it was like yesterday for the King's coronation. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, I think I've got to go back the way we've just walked. Is this a dead end? Yeah, this is a dead end here. I think we've got to walk around that way now. Right, so you do have this area here with the fake animals. Uh, African Adventure, it is literally just a play park for kids. There's a, some seating areas for people having picnics and stuff. There's a bit of an undercover section over there as well. Yeah, it's just it's very nice, but yeah, we're not going, not going that way, so we'll continue the walk. I don't actually think there's that much more to see, to be honest. It's not really a full day out, this. Um, but what there is here is very nice and Look how steep this hill is. <laughs> it's a what? Oh, the bird bits over here, is it? Oh, we can't go up that way. But we can watch the falconry show. Yeah, we have to walk round it anyway. I mean, it's not really a path walking up the hill. So we'll walk round the path. Yeah, the falconry show's up there. Um, and I think that's probably about it for here from what we've seen. Oh, and there's like a high ropes course and stuff. I don't really know where that is. We haven't seen where that is. Trust me, I walked past it. It's a playground. Oh, is it? It goes up slightly. Oh, playground. Oh, I'm pretty sure there's one that goes like into the trees and stuff. <laughs> yeah, this is really nice. This weeping willow here. <laughs> it's not, is it not? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Could be. They you normally know, grow off the side of where there's a lot of water. Uh, 
Right, so this is the uh, falconry display. Or the centre, anyway, falconry centre where all the, all the birds and stuff are. Yeah, dogs are not allowed this way. Yeah, there's uh, there's another path that sort of bypasses this bit. Well, look at how it's all on built on the hill here. I tell you what, it's not called Robin Hill for nothing. Oh God, Whew. I'm not good walking around here. Yeah, a bird in there. There's one up there. Wow, a vulture. Harris Hawks. Wow, Steppy Eagle. Oh, there's one here. Where's an owl? Where's he come from? Oh, he's following him. Oh. Oh, yeah, so this is the, the, the falconry display. I'll tell you what, though. It's so steep here. Oh, there's a thing up there we can go to. Oh, this is the falconry thing. Viewing area for dogs and owners. All right, so we, we, we Tilly, we had to, we'd have to sit over here to watch it. The show. Look at the owl. So he's got. A, he's putting a glove on here. There's the owl. Okay. No. Nah. Oakley! He's me. He's, he's not interested. Beautiful bird. Here he comes. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, he's come past. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's having none of it. Oh, God, I'll see you at the top. Wow, it really isn't called Robin Hill for nothing. I don't know if this bit is Robin Hill or not, but oh my God, I'm knackered. <laughs> right, you got this little children's village thing here, Duck Down Village, maybe because you have to duck down to get into it. Yeah, it's just a load of little kids, houses and stuff to go in. Yeah, it's really pretty. Again, it's something a bit unique. But yeah, I don't want to, Staying here too long. Oh, oh my god. What time is the temperature? It's 13 degrees. I just said to the girl, there's a girl down there doing a bit of uh, landscaping, cutting the trees down. I just said, like, a, a cable car system would have been amazing for here if you just like sat on it and it took you up and down the hill. But I suppose they got the one at the needles as well, haven't they? Oh, that breeze is nice. God, I'm knackered walking up there. I don't even know where Tilly in. And uh, oh, we're back at the entrance. Oh, so that's it. We've, we've pretty much done the park. Uh, yeah, there's the maze with the rides you walk around the top. So, yeah, there's a couple of bits here. You've got the falconry show. We probably won't bother with that. Uh, I don't even know where Tilly and Lisa have gone. But, yeah, there's a the maze there. Oh, there's a 4D cinema. I'll go and have a look at that. Oh, look at this old tree here, how they fenced it off. That must be really old, that. <laughs> yeah, so you've got the maze there. I say the rides are on the other side of there. This treetop walk adventure must be on the other side of here. But I haven't seen it. And then you've got the 4D cinema over here as well. But yeah, loads of dogs here. It's really nice to see. You know, more, more places should allow dogs. Oh. Maybe ones that haven't got massive hills to climb. <laughs> I'm, I'm, tr I'm dripping. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to find Lisa and Tilly now. I don't know where they went. Like I said, they had to bypass the falconry. The birds. Yeah, there's a back up to the rides there. So we've done a full loop of the park now. Anyway. I just don't know where Lisa's gone. She's sat down somewhere. Unless you're still walking up the path, I don't know. 
I'll go and find her. But yeah, there's a few restaurants here as well. That smells quite nice. We've got squirrels that do scones and stuff like that. I said, we've got a huge picnic. So, either we'll go back to the car and grab that, and then we'll go to another attraction. I'd really like to go and do the uh, steam railway. <sighs> I'm absolutely dripping. <laughs> I don't know where Lisa's gone. I have literally no idea where she's at. Oh well, I'll go and find her. Right, so I've just called Lisa. She's near here somewhere, so she said come across the bridge, which is over there, I think. I'll just do this net thing. <laughs> I'll walk across here, there's like a load of these to walk through. High ropes course, there's some sort of uh, like stadium down there. It's just in a load of seats. I hope this is strong enough. <laughs> yeah, she said she walked, ended up walking a different way. She's down near where the tractor is. Re like by the Rio Calf. Is that down there? Oh, I don't know where I am. I'm lost. This place is massive. She said she's by the Rio Calf. Is that th down there? I don't know what that says. No, that's not it. Oh, I don't know where she's at. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, there's all this walk through bit. There's all these here to go down. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm not doing that. There's this hamster squirrel run. Oh my God, yeah, not a chance. <laughs> you get in the metal cage and you gotta go through here and you come out of the top of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no way. Yeah, squirrel tower. It's pretty cool though. Oh, what a beautiful park this is. It's really pretty, really, really nice. I just don't think I should have put my little jacket on because I am absolutely dripping. I'm just so unfit. I need to get myself back to a gym. I mean, I do what I do for a living, climb the crane, and that's about it, really. Wow, look at this thing here. Oh, wow, look at these. High rope course, and it's all netted off. That's really cool. Oh, the whole thing. I'm gonna have to get my map out, I think, and see where we are. But yeah, it's really nice here. There's loads of stuff to do. You, you probably could easily spend half a day here. I mean, what time? It's only half twelve now, really. We've, we've pretty much, I think we've pretty much seen everything. Oh, yeah, Rio. <laughs> Rio's. Yeah, she's here. <laughs> she's down here. Um, yeah, so we've got this stadium here. Uh, they must have like concerts and things on. Uh, and before we go, I'll show you the banners and the posters. But they do like the uh, balloon festival and there's a light thing that they do. And I think they do like a day of the dawn and all sorts of stuff here but uh, yeah i found the rio's calf it's, it's just here i can't i still can't see it though but yeah look it's brilliant here yeah right so we've just done a full loop on the Big red tractor now. Oh, big red rider, whatever you call it. Um, oh, that's cute, isn't it? The little ducks. Ah, oh, look at that. Ah. Oh. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, that's cute, that. Um, yeah, we're now going to the car to get our picnic. And we've got to come back in, find somewhere to sit, eat a picnic, and then we'll leave. Uh, probably go and do the um, steam railway. Do we need a stamp or anything to come back in again? Yeah, today, yeah, it's just one, it's just one I've got the desk there, which starts All right, thank you. Um, yeah, so we'll grab the uh, picnic and then we'll come back in, have some lunch. Loved it here, really nice. There you go, Balloon Festival from the 27th and the 29th of May. I'm not sure we'll come back for that one, but one maybe later in the year. Anyway, we've just had an amazing picnic that Lisa put together. Wait for the lighting, there you go. <laughs> 
Just been chatting to some really nice people as well, actually. Saw a couple of guys with scooters on the t shirts because I'm really into my old classic uh, mod scooters, Lambrettas, and Vespers and stuff. And I've always wanted to come to the Isle of Wight for their um, scooter rally, but I never bothered. Yeah. Lisa. Um, so I would like to come back for that. I said it's bank holiday August, so we probably we will come. Well, we definitely will come back later in the in the year to here. This has been an absolutely amazing country park. If you're in the Isle of Wight, this place is not to be missed. We've we've actually really enjoyed it here. It's just gone two o'clock now, so we've been here nearly four hours, and we just had an amazing picnic. This is. <laughs> <laughs> and the new basket she bought. Uh, so we just had some sandwiches, pork pies, that sort of crisps, that sort of thing. Tilly's really enjoyed it here. The attractions they've got here are really nice. Yes, the sun's come out now and it's it's got quite warm now. As you see, I've taken me a uh, me little jacket off. So yeah, like I said, if you do come to the Isle of Wight and you're here for say like a week long holiday, you can come here and you could come back again for free within that seven days, which is an amazing value. Um, again, look online, it's cheaper when you book online. We've really enjoyed it here. Like the, the amount of stuff that they do as well is really nice. Like the balloon festival looks really cool. Um, what was the other things they do? There's like a lantern parade thing that they do as well. Brilliant, really, really, really enjoyed it here today. Definitely worth a trip if you're coming over to the Isle of Wight. Like I said, you can possibly do both parks in the same day, so you could leave here and then go to the um, to Black Gang Chine, because it's not that far away. It's just depending on your time, I suppose. Um, but yeah, there you go. Uh, there you go, Cowboys versus Dinosaurs. They're advertising for uh, the event of Black Gang Chine. And they do like a deal as well where you can get both packs for the same price. But yeah, there you go, Robin Hill, done. So that's another, it's not really a theme park, but it's another park in the, in the UK that we've done. There really isn't many that we've not done now, to be honest. We're sort of running out of places to visit. Um, so it's been nice to go back to places that we have done before and revisit stuff. But no, we've really enjoyed it here today. It's got really hot now. We're off to probably go and look at a steam railway if we find it. I might do another vlog. If not, I'll probably just have a enjoy myself off camera for a for a bit. And then when we get back to the ferry, I'll continue this vlog and finish off the day of being here on the Isle of Wight. It's absolutely stunning here. I've been talking to a guy, he said it's quite cheap to live here as well. But there you go. I'll see you in the next bit. Well, I'll see you when we get somewhere else that's worth filming. But yeah, really enjoyed it here, it's been amazing. Oh, that's a nice shot, isn't it? Look how blue that water is. Yeah, we're back on the ferry now, uh, heading back towards Portsmouth. Um, it's currently 20 to nine. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been an, an amazing day today. Uh, Tilly and Lisa are just sat down here. She's, she's, she's holding Tilly, like I think Tilly was a bit scared when we got outside here again. But no, it's been an amazing day today. We've actually done quite a lot of camera. We spent pretty much the whole day on the Isle of Wight. Obviously, it's like 20 to nine at night. Um, so what, yeah, what didn't, what didn't you see? Um, yeah, so we left um, Robin Hill, which was amazing. Uh, I can't recommend that place enough, actually. It's really nice, especially got dogs and young families and kids. There was so much to do there. Uh, really enjoyed that. Uh, so we left there and we went to the Isle of Wight Steam Railway. However, we didn't actually do it. Um, I went to have a look at the prices and stuff. So about £22 each. So we didn't, we didn't really bother with that one. Uh, then we drove to Shanklin, uh, parked up there, had a walk up the beach, went up the, the lift. They've got like this massive lift that's like a pound, <laughs> a pound return on a lift. It's crazy. We literally just went up to have a look at the views and then came back down again. Uh, so yeah, we did Shanklin, had a bit of a walk on the beach. Did we do anything else in Shanklin? I've got a drink. Oh, you got an ice cream, didn't you? Got an ice cream. Um, then we got back in the car and we then went to Oh God, what was it called? Somewhere that had a pier. Sun, oh, it was Sundown? Yeah, th Sundown, was it Sundown? I think it was Sundown. I think. <laughs> I'm not getting my phone out now. San yeah, sun Sundown, Sandown, something like that anyway. Um, but they had a pier and stuff. I couldn't, again, couldn't really do much there. Dogs were not allowed on the pier. 
Um, so we ended up finding a bit of beach that we could take Tilly on, um, which is about a mile away. Anyway, it was all right. We had we had a nice walk. We've done about how many steps have we done now? Just I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, eight, nearly nineteen thousand steps. You've done more than that. Uh, nine, eighteen thousand eight hundred and forty-eight steps we've done today. We've walked um, nearly fourteen kilometres. <laughs> So yeah, we left that place, Sandbourne, whatever it was called, I can't remember what it was called now. And then we went to uh, Shanklin, which is literally just that. No, I didn't. <laughs> Shanklin, uh, which is just there behind us. Uh, again, that was really nice. Again, we had a bit of a walk around, went for something to eat. It was really nice. Eh? No, that's... is it? Shanklin. Oh, it was, sorry, yeah, right, sorry. <laughs> yeah, ride, which is over there. You just see the pier. Yeah, we went to ride. Sorry, yeah, that was the last place we went to. Yeah, we went there. <laughs> so we did quite a bit off camera. You know, it's, it's been an amazing day today. Really, really good. Can't recommend it enough. Um, I will give you the t prices and stuff for the ferry, but obviously it's got to change depending on what days you want to travel. But I can't recommend it enough, really. We're really, pretty much back there now. If uh, Clarence Pier was still open tonight, we'd probably pop in there for an hour, go and see uh, Jordan. But uh, no, it's amazing. Look at the views here. Absolutely stunning. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog today from Robin Hill. I could have filmed a bit more, but I might have had a bit of time off camera, just enjoying our day. It's been really nice. We've actually, both, well, all three of us, have actually had a really good day. Tilly's enjoyed it. We've enjoyed it. It's been absolutely stunning. Like, we couldn't have picked a better day to come out here. Yeah, picnic, yeah, the picnic was really nice. The ferry crossing's really nice. Look at it on here, though. This is the sort of lighting I should have every time. It's amazing. It looks really, really good. And the blue water as well, it's amazing. Right, anyway, there's no point filming anything else. We're heading back towards Portsmouth now. Um, yeah, that's it. That's uh, the weekend over. We might nip to a fair tomorrow. I think T Smiths have got one in Late and Buzzard, uh, which was the first ever thing that I ever vlogged on my channel over seven years ago. So that'd be nice to go back and see the uh, see the guys at Tom Smiths fairs. And um, yeah, I've got nothing else planned really. Just probably a chill out day tomorrow, Bank Holiday Monday. Hope you've enjoyed your weekend this weekend for the coronation. I don't know what you've done. Comment down below if you've done something interesting. And uh, yeah, don't forget to do this on the side. <laughs> comment like and subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell as well for next time we'll upload another video give the video a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one bye for now